Good evening, Reverend Father Carvalho, our Principal Father Roy, guest teachers, executive board members, staff, and delegates from across India. On behalf of the management, staff, and students, we welcome you to the valedictory function of the fourth edition of Spark in 2020. When the pandemic had restricted us all, we wondered how the MUN would take place. What was just a disaster today has become a success today. Two days of this conference, and we experienced the beauty of creativity, strength, and enthusiasm. Each and every delegate had a firm stance on their representation and an equally inspiring resolution towards the betterment of the world. That's the spirit the current world needs a will to change, a will to develop, and a will to succeed. We wish to express our gratitude to everyone who raised this event with their presence. This is an initiative towards instilling enriching values of confidence and leadership has turned into the memorable anecdote of friendship. Irrespective of the award winners, every delegate is a winner in our eyes. Every delegate is a leader in our lives. All that we hope for is that we continue <coughs> to see and extend our hands in friendship every passing year. We believe Spark MUN 2020 has just not been an event, but an experience. You all came here as students, but we are sure you will return back as diplomats. We hope that this two day conference here at Spark MUN ignited the spark within you that shall fuel the desire to change the world. This is the hallmark of what big hearts and brave minds can do. This is what our director, Father Carvalho, has always cherished. Our director inspires us every day to keep the flame of conviction lighted in our heart so that we are not deterred by any obstacle that we reach till we reach the goal. And the goal is to become responsible human beings who have the integrity to stand tall against all odds. I now invite our director, Father Carvalho, to address the gathering. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Sanitya, for the lovely words. Principal Father Roy, Vice Principal Mem Srija, the, the brain behind the organizing, Mem Sangeeta and all those lovely teachers, the organizing committee, the EBs, all of you. Young men and women, in this last two days, you had the opportunity to step in the shoes of diplomats, chef de mission, ambassadors, and even heads of states. For a moment, your life was changed. Your life would change because you learned to, to, to something that is called empathy. You understood the problems of others. You appropriated the problems of others. You spoke for the problems of others. And when it ends, there's one request I make all of you. Don't leave this change that you made. Today you acted. But now, opportunity in life is all about to be what you acted, to, be, to rise above your own persona, to rise above your own community, your own school, your own state, your own country even. Because that is what Model United Nations was all about. The power to give the young and the potential to let them see the future that one day they will hold the reins of what makes the world a better place. When the world was, uh, was looking at the debris of the Second World War in 1945, three men who equally fought the war also decided what they said, jamais plus la guerre, never war again. And the only way not to war, not to fight a war was to bring about the hope of peace. Unfortunately, the Cold War 
change it into something else. That is the fear of terror or the balance of terror. But the Cold War is gone, my dear, my dear students, my dear young people. Today, the world can be built on harmony, on understanding, on giving everyone a chance, developed and un underdeveloped, North and South nations. We have to embrace together, and that can only happen if deep in your hearts, you keep that empathy that you had during these two days. This was a great opportunity. And spike your MUN, again, every other MUN, but because we believe in it, that's part of our logo, big hearts and brave minds. For us, it is at the core of our system that whatever we do, we want to inject in the minds of people the power to rise above the ordinary, to see beyond the immediate, the perimeter that you are, the perimeter of your community, of your family, of your school, of your state. We're all together just one nation. Remember that, my dear young people, that the world of tomorrow that we crave for will be first born in our minds and in our hearts. And you had the opportunity. You came out brilliant after these two days. And I, I hope you truly believe that you had an exhilarating experience. Keep that experience as a great memory, but let it thrive in your heart that tomorrow each one of you who, st who stepped into the shoes of another country, rich, poor, but always to seek peace, harmony, understanding and development. That must be your hallmark from now onwards. So let us always remember that you had a spark MUN, not because it was held by Father Agnell's school, but, but because it, it in your life, in your heart, it, li it lit a lamp, a spark of light for a new world, a world that believes another, a world that has got the capacity to appropriate the pain and the loss and the need of another. And together, holding hands, go ahead. God bless you, dear students. God bless the organizing committee, the EBs, and all those lovely people that you that are there. Please remember, the world belongs to you, and the world belongs to the brave, and only the brave dare. So dare to go ahead. God bless you. Thank you, Father. You have always touched our hearts by your ever-inspiring words. We thank each and every one of you for being with us in this memorable journey for Spark MUN 2020.
it will never be the awards, but the small moments that you will cherish throughout your life. So fill your life with experiences and not things. Have stories to tell and not stuff to show. Still, we do want to know the achievers of the two day conference. Before we announce the results, I'd like to share. The best delegate recipients receive a cash award of rupees 1000 and an e certificate. The high commendation award comes with an e certificate and a cash price of rupees 500. The special mention awardees are felicitated with an e certificate and cash price of rupees 250. The verbal mention awardees receive an e certificate. The best journalist receives a cash award of rupees 1000 and an e certificate. Every delegate receives a participation certificate. Dear delegates, your e certificates will be mailed to you. The whole school, Father Admiral School, New Delhi, will compete for all individual awards, but will not contend for the best school delegation award. If there is more than one delegate as an awardee for the verbal mention, then the names are announced in the order of their merit, except for the Committee of United Nations General Assembly, where the executive board feels that all the delegates stand at the equal footage. In order to felicitate the exemplary delegates who stood out with their hard work and admirable efforts, I would like to invite our principal, Father Roy. His presence exudes such charismatic radiance that it inspires those around him. He has encouraged and supported all our endeavors, giving us his valuable guidance in every step that we take. Our beloved principal, Father Roy, nothing can match the support you have given us as we prepare for Spark. We have always looked up to you for moral support whenever the boat was rocked by a rough weather. Father, I invite you to propose the vote of thanks and announce the awards. Thank you, Sanitya. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, we have come to the last part of the Spark Amion 2020, and that is the award ceremony, which had its theme, Young Leaders Without Borders. But before we move on to the award ceremony, I need to thank a few people for the successful organization and uh, conclusion of the event. My dear friends, organizing such an event on an online mode, although it has become a new normal for us, is a challenging task. And this cannot be possible without great preparation, support from every corner and blessings. On behalf of the management, the teachers and the students, I would like to place on record the presence of Sir Rajdeep Sardesai senior journalist and lead news anchor of India Today group, who consented to be the chief guest and addressed the gathering yesterday. He reminded us that we being global citizens of the world, first and foremost, irrespective of our religion, need to be driven by compassion and stand for what is right and just. Because at the end of the day, what matters is whether you have lived your day as a true human being who is created in the image of God. We thank Sir Rajdeep and wish him all the best in his journalism career. Such an event not only requires planning, but a bird's eye for details. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by individuals in the person of Father Alariko, Ma'am Srija and Ma'am Pishnani, who are very motivating, committed, focused, dedicated and result oriented. Thank you to your father and dear teachers. A sincere thanks to Ma'am Charu for being the backbone of any online event. We cannot thank you enough for being the solid rock support system of our online events. A big round of applause to the executive board members, some of whom are the alumni of our school. Thank you for accepting our invitation and taking your time off to be with us during these two days to guide, motivate, and encourage our delegates in the smooth conduct of the Spark MUN 2020. God bless you. My sincere thanks to the principals, staff, and students of the participating schools of all over India. Thank you for supporting us with your human resource for this event and for being a part of such a noble event. 
It has been a pleasure to host you online, dear delegates. Your interest in international and national relations, your initiative to participate in Model UN, and your commitment of time and energy to make this event a success through debating and negotiating were indeed exceptional. I'm sure these last two days have been very fascinating, engaging, and a very educating exercise for all of you amuners. Thank you for making this two day event worth remembering. Here, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the parents of all the delegates, the secretariat and the organizing committee for giving an opportunity to your children when they were locked up in their homes. Without your support and cooperation, they would not have been able to add another wonderful experience in their MUN record. Thank you very much, dear parents. Teamwork divides the task and multiplies the success. My sincere thanks to Ma'am Sangeeta, the teacher coordinator, and her team of teachers, Ma'am Kokila, Ma'am Jemi, Ma'am Ashwini, Ma'am Shweta, Ma'am Agnes, Ma'am Monita, and Sir Arvind, who guided the students in setting the MUN event into motion. My thanks to Ma'am Kunika Rajput for managing and helping us with our Patreon payments. Our sponsors, Mr. Kamal Auja, owner of Kamal Enterprises, and Mr. Amit Sharma, consultant insurance policies. My thanks to the office staff of Father Agnell School too. Last but not the least, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our students, whose efforts are highly commendable. The Secretariat, comprising of Manvir Singh Saini, Kirtan Gupta, Hiten Panwar, Ujwal Rajput, Arshia Krishna Kumar, and Sanitya Jai Kumar. The organizing committee members consisting of Aryan Paul, Abhimanyu Rai, Alina Roy, Samra Khan, Kushagra Kumar, and Arul Babu. The online event was conducted with much vigor, with the belief that nothing can deter us from forging ahead when we have made a commitment. Thank you, dear students, for your enthusiasm and willingness to take on the completion of Spark MUN 2020 beyond your comfort zones. A big round of applause to you, dear students, and a big shout of hurrah to each one of you. I would like to end with a quote from late President Kennedy. One person can make a difference, and everyone should try. Let us then go with this thought to make people's lives safer, more prosperous and more fulfilling, built on harmony and empathy as future leaders of our country and in a way of humanity as a whole. Well, now the much awaited time has come and that is the declaration of the awards. I request Ma'am Sangeeta to please share the screen. <clears throat> well, we have the first committee that is the United Nations General Assembly. The best delegate goes to the delegate from China. The high commendation award goes to the delegate from Russian Federation. Special mention award goes to the delegate from Italy. Verbal mention goes to the delegate from Republic of Korea and of Israel and of India and of Afghanistan. We have the second committee, the United Nations Security Council. The best delegate award goes to the delegate from Tunisia. The high commendation award goes to delegate from Belgium. The special mention award goes to the delegate from China. The verbal mention goes to the delegate from Russian Federation. We have the next committee that is the United Nations Commission on Status of Women. The best delegate award goes to delegate from Japan. The high commendation award goes to delegate from Norway. The special mention award goes to delegate from Republic of Korea. 
the verbal mention uh, goes to the delegate from Russia and the verbal mention of what two goes to the delegate from the United States of America. We have now the committee of Lok Sabha. The best parliamentarian goes to Amit Shah. The High Commendation Award goes to Asuddin Oweisi. The Special Mention Award goes to Adir Ranjan Chaudhary. The Verbal Mention goes to Narendra Modi. Uh, I, I cannot read the second one. The Verbal Mention 2 goes to... I can't get the second one. I, it's getting blocked in my screen. Uh, Manish Tiwari. Manish Tiwari. Thank you. The next committee we have the United Nations Office of Drugs and Crime. The best delegate award goes to the delegate from United States of America. The high commendation award goes to the delegate from Japan. <clears throat> the special mention award goes to the delegate from China. <clears throat> the verbal mention award goes to the delegate from Germany. We have the next committee that is the International Labour Organization. The award for the best delegate goes to the delegate from Bangladesh. The High Commendation Award goes to the delegate from United States of America. The Special Mention Award goes to the delegate from Canada. The Verbal Mention Award goes to the delegate from Chile. We have the committee, we have the international press and the best journalist award goes to Domil Anthony Johnson. And the final, the best delegation award goes to Father Hagnell School, Noida. Congratulations to all the winners and to all the dedicates and to all the delegates. God bless you and thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Father. Congratulations to all the winners. As we conclude with the closing ceremony, let us all rise up for a song that has reminded us of our purpose ever since we stepped in school, our school hymn. Yeah, 
Thank you everyone for joining in and being a part of the Spark MUN with us. It was indeed a memorable experience. May the Spark never die. We wish you all the best for your future endeavors. We pray you all emerge out as powerful leaders. See you next time. Signing off, Manveer Singh Saini, Secretary General, Spark Model United Nations 2020.